हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई अभिनव नेगी वेलकम यू ऑल ऑन बाईज एग्जाम प्रेप गाइज आई सी बेंगलोर ऑन इट्स पोर्टल हैज रिलीज द रिस्पॉन्स की ऑफ ऑल द स्टूडेंट्स फॉर ऑल द ब्रांचेस दैट मीन्स नाउ नॉट ऑन द मेमोरी बेस्ड बट एक्चुअल सिक्सटी फाइव क्वेश्चन ऑफ योर शिफ्ट ऑफ योर पेपर इज नोन टू यू अलॉन्ग विद द आंसर्स दैट यू हैव मार्क्ड यस on 21st of february we'll be getting the response key and from 22nd if there is some ambiguity we can challenge but till now only the questions uh, the 65 questions have been released not the official answer key guys once the official answer key will be released of course we will be coming up with our team with the challenging questions if there are any now guys in the official response key Uh, let me show you the official response key first guys for uh, morning i have already told you and uh, guys for the evening shift guys this was the response key okay please see my response key paper where i have told you each and everything i have put the both shifts forenoon and afternoon shift uh, paper the total 130 questions on my telegram group civil by abhinav sir also okay so you can refer that now guys one question was very interesting and the question was uh, I section, but not the symmetrical one. Here it is three centimeter. Here it is six centimeter, and we have to find out the shear center. Guys, most of the students have find out the shear center only for symmetrical sections, or they have remember the values of channel section, open slit, or couple of others, but not like this. So how we have to find out that the where the shear center? They have not find. They have not asked the distance of the shear center, but at which point the shear center can be at P, at Q, at R, at S. Guys. Now more than ninety nine percent of the students have not able to solve this question. Okay, so this was on the afternoon session. Okay, of course in the civil engineering paper, and on fourth of February the strength of material shear center question. Okay, so this was the thing, guys, and this is not symmetrical, guys. This part is three centimeter or three units, whatever, and this is six. Okay, now what is the shear center, guys? this is the question this was the question guys very interesting now see various students have uh, either not attempted it or they take a guess or i know the various the the, the uh, students are giving me some answer that sir this is a channel section this is a bigger channel section this is a smaller channel section so bigger will dominate and whatever whatever let me tell you the complete logical conceptual solution for this guys the shear flow i am representing the shear flow is this that is s a y bar by moment of inertia that is shear force per unit length okay this is shear flow and this shear flow is the shear flow is shear force per unit length if you multiply by b that will be shear stress now shear flow will be in this section either like this just guys watch it complete you will get the complete idea of shear center all the thumb rules will also be broken today okay so this is the direction of the shear flow like this let me do one thing that i use the different color marker so that you will be analyzing it better like this like this okay like this like this like this and then here this is the direction of shear flow okay and like this guys just after 5 minutes na your all fundas will be cleared guys the shear flow na like shear stress na shear stress is constant along the width suppose i am saying for rectangular section shear stress uh, shear stress here is 3 so that 3 is constant here shear stress suppose i am saying 0 here so that 0 is constant here similarly suppose bending stress value i am saying here sigma max then all at the section sigma max suppose i am saying 0 then neutral section it is 0 so across the width it is not changing so guys in these kind of sections in these kind of sections the shear flow is constant along the thickness okay because guys this width is 
almost this thickness is almost negligible so all this shear flow here 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 anywhere here 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 everywhere it is same okay that that thickness is very minute na so compared to the total length so we assume all this shear flow across this constant okay now guys this is and what is the direction of shear flow what is the direction of shear flow guys one direction is this okay now shear flow direction you should be making like it should be smooth jaise like water goes na so water is going like this then this like this wo it should not be stuck anywhere let me tell you guys the same shear flow na see here what direction i have made here yellow orange and blue so this is yellow same i am making here this is yellow and that one i have made blue so this is blue then this is the shear flow blue and here i have made orange okay here i have made orange like this okay so guys opposite you can also make that water is coming from here coming here like this okay obstruction should not be there opposite can also be made now let me tell you the logic of opposite guys within next 2 3 minutes i am giving you all the logic okay opposite also i can make opposite also i can make everyone b c here goes twin 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 two is both are same the water is coming here like this now how sir both are same guys shear stress is complementary shear stress is complementary let me show you let me show you that uh 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 uh, uh this is khanna just to book of high engineering okay so at here if the shear stress is in this direction that direction so here the shear stress will be in this direction na for equilibrium okay if here in this phase the shear stress this phase the front cover of khanna just to if it is here if it is in that direction so here it is opposite direction na for balancing so if at the top phase it is there shear stress so here at the bottom phase it should be here na for equilibrium khanna just to ko ek bar motion ho gaya so guys if at a section of from front side i am seeing this figure from front side i am seeing this figure then opposite side for balancing it will be like this na okay guys of course these are the 3d na these all things are in 3d okay like this i am very poor in making drawing if at the front side it is like this then back side it should be like this na for balancing so any of the shear flow is correct any of the shear flow correct 10 out of 10 10 out of 10 okay but the movement of shear flow should be like water okay it should not be obstructing water coming like this okay water coming like this and like this this is the shear flow okay and this shear is constant along this thickness got it so any of them are correct one will be the front side one will be the back side complementary shear stress opposite faces shear stress are equal and opposite now let me take any of one of this this and making a zoom now guys first of all the students have done one thing very correct that s cannot be done sir s cannot be done sir all students know this because guys the shear center always lies on the axis of symmetry so this is this is not axis of symmetry because this is 3 this is 6 but this is the axis of symmetry this is the axis of symmetry so shear center will not be as it will be pqr now guys see if i take the p point now see the logic guys one by one first i am taking the p point first i am taking the p point okay now at p point is yellow one this yellow one will be applying moment or torque where will be apply anti clockwise this is anti clockwise and this is anti clockwise yellow yellow i am showing with yellow color yellow i am showing with yellow color yellow i am showing with yellow color okay now this is anti clockwise now this q q is also applying this sorry orange orange is also applying about p point anti clockwise anti clockwise oh my god and this blue one this blue one blue one about p point clockwise this blue one about p point clockwise this blue one about p point clockwise this blue one clockwise but guys this clockwise will not be equal to uh even yellow one yellow one is a bigger na 6 this is along the 6 that is only only along the 3 so leave this is even making more anti clockwise so clockwise is lesser anti clockwise more even guys leave orange only yellow is more than blue 
so it will not be zero so the net twisting moment will not be zero now coming to the q point now coming to the second point that is q now q point this orange will be zero orange is passing from that orange shear flow is passing from that only whatever that shear flow is causing force it will be zero now q point orange is zero but this yellow yellow clockwise this sorry yellow anti clockwise this is also anti clockwise this about q point anti clockwise this also anti clockwise so orange will be zero but this will be anti clockwise and this blue this blue shear flow whatever the shear flow is causing force that blue about q point is clockwise but they are not same yes yellow will be more yellow will be yellow will be more because yellow is on larger length so again not zero so p cannot be done sir p cannot be done sir q cannot be done sir guys now coming the third point that is r no about r this orange about r the orange will be the orange will be clockwise the orange force will be causing clockwise this blue this blue this blue will be clockwise and this yellow one and this yellow one this yellow one will be anti clockwise okay this yellow one will be anti clockwise and this yellow one is bigger na this yellow one is bigger na and blue and orange can be uh, summation of two smaller clockwise can be one bigger anti clockwise so yes this can be the answer they have given now grasp the distance they have asked that which can be your answer so r will be the answer guys that is the correct logic now if anyone are telling the two challenge section this challenge section will be having a greater uh, effect because this is bigger okay this is a bigger challenge section this is a bigger challenge section so the shear center is away from the channel section so and this channel section is smaller one so this will dominate and shear center is away okay okay but the exact answer is this now guys whatever the thumb rule you have studied na that thumb rule also comes from this picture only like for here what you have studied thumb rule lyell broke all the thumb rules the shear center will lies on the axis of symmetry so this is axis of symmetry this is axis of symmetry so shear center will lie here okay shear center is the point through which if load passes there is no twisting okay so this is the shear center now guys this also comes from that only yaar like shear flow is this okay and shear flow is this okay and shear flow is this so about s point about s point this orange is passing from that only zero this green this green is causing anti clockwise and this blue is causing clockwise this this is anti clockwise and this blue is causing clockwise and both are same because it is symmetrical so that is why it is coming like this similarity section what you have studied the third thumb rule that shear center only lies on the axis of symmetry of individual rectangles na this this is the shear center na that is also coming that is no rule yaar that is all concept that is all concept like shear flow is coming like this and then the shear is going here here and this one is going here and here so orange will be zero about s point orange will be zero passing from that only this blue this blue and uh, yellow one net effect again passing from there only will be zero okay so that is how all these things are developed guys please share the session to all the students because this concept i guess only 2% of the students across the country might be knowing or even lesser guys okay so this kind of question should not be wrong or should not be unattempted in upcoming gate exams guys when the answer key will be coming you will be finding again the same answer r will be correct if anything else i will be challenging you guys have you enjoyed this video have you got this concept guys please my humble request let me know on the comment sections guys okay so guys uh, the two papers of civil 65 plus 65 questions of forenoon and afternoon will be available in my telegram group civil by abhinav sir you can join there okay and vision 2025 and 26 courses are available both 25 and 26 in english and hindi where we are teaching from basic level from a beginner student to the topper guys 
okay from the basic level the, these are not the crash course guys these are not the numerical course these are not only the conceptual courses these are the complete complete concept theory questions numerical msq entity everything from zero level in english and hindi both okay and anything you want to inquire then there is a form in the description box you can connect there guys okay and uh, guys if you want to check your ranks then on the rank predator on our website you can go and fill your details and guys when the answer key will be released then we will be telling you your expected rank okay so all these things rank predator link everything will be available in my telegram group civil by binosa do let me know in the comment section is this the first time you got that concept of sheer strength or you already know like and share guys thank you